Hey, what's up, guys? This is just a quick demonstration of PitKit. It's a mod manager. So I'll be installing all of these mods. So you'll have to set up first. So you'll just go ahead and run that. You'll probably get this pop up. You can just hit more info and run anyway. All of the code for this project is open source. So you can go and have a look if you want, if you're worried about it at all, or if you're just interested in how it works. And now once you install it, it should create a little shortcut here and it will open up automatically. But you can just open it up from the shortcut or it should make an entry in your start menu. To install a mod, you can uh, drag and drop any of these file types. We have like PNTs, PKZs, ZIPs, RARs, and the extraction and installation will be handled automatically for you for most of them. So just install the MX OEM bikes here. So that'll extract and that will go into the correct location. Just delete mine really quick to show you that it actually is getting installed. So there it is. Just finished copying all the files over. Yep, now it's good. So now we have bikes. So let's say, let's get a track. Let's do into the wild. So you can select any of your track folders here or create new. So now we have into the wild here. So this is a, so we have bikes attract. This is a protection, a rider protection. So we'll try this one out. And as you can see, this PKZ, it couldn't figure out what it is because uh, some of the PKZs are obfuscated or they're locked so you can't extract them. But this is a protection and that's perfect. Under protection, we have Cuban. Um, let's see. This is another protection right here, the Alpine Stars A1 Pro. Uh, you can also install a mod by selecting this button and then finding the file. So try that really quick. Install this protection. This time it figured out that it was a protection and placed it in the correct folder. So we don't have to worry about that. And this is a paint for that protection. So we can drag this over and it'll ask you what type of paint you're installing. This is for a protection and you have to select which protection it goes on. It goes on this one. So that's perfect. Here's another track just in raw format, just to demonstrate. So that's fine. Here's a whole rider. So we can drag this in. It figured out that it was a rider just fine. Sometimes it may not, but that's fine. Here's the OEM supporter bike model for the 2024 Yamaha. So this is just a folder here. And you can also just drag folders. And you can make a custom name for this if you want. I'm just going to leave it the same because that's fine. And then you'll have to select which bike this goes on. In this case, we need the 2024 Yamaha. So that's installed. This, I believe, is a rider animation. So I'm going to take away all of that. And that was installed. Here's some boots. And this uh, name was way too long. So this is a work in progress. We have a little UI bug here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that mod. Uh, any of these mods that you install, you can just delete them anytime you want. And it'll only delete that single mod. Here's a paint for the Yamaha, the OEM Yamaha. This is a bike paint for the Yamaha. So that's great. Here's another animation. So 
so that's good. Here are some goggles and some gloves. So first I'm going to install, I actually don't even know, are these, those might be boots or, or helmet, I, yeah, I think they're boots actually. So here, let's install a helmet, Belmodo 10. So that's extracting the zip and it got installed. So let's install some goggles for that helmet. This is a helmet paint. Actually, that was incorrect. So I'm going to delete that and then redo this. So it asks what type of paint you're installing, but um, I selected helmets. It really should be goggles because there's helmet paints and then there's goggles for helmets. Two different things. So my mistake there. And here are some gloves that we can install for our rider. Let's just put it on the default rider. Here's a helmet cam. It's a helmet add-on, so you'll have to select that from the drop-down. And that's good. And here's a stand just shows up on the main menu and such. So that's also supported. And so that's pretty much everything. Once again, you can delete all of this stuff. I have um, more things planned for this app. So I'm working on a feature to automatically upload people's trainer files, aka their ghosts. And then so you'll be able to search for ghosts right in this app and then install them. Um, eventually I'd like to be able to get the downloads right in this so that you don't have to go on the MXP mods website. So that might happen in the future. But uh, that's it for pick kit right now. So let me know what you guys think and thank you for your interest.